Hello, I'm Ryan Hill. As y'all know, I'm the author of The Crystal Ball, a great college football blog, and uh, you're about to start reading this blog on drug and alcohol abuse and hopefully continue to follow my blog. But anyway, you know, it's on to the point now. I know y'all have heard of the dismissal of Tyron Matthew, a.k.a. the infamous Honey Badger, Greg Reed, and most recently Casey Patchell of uh, TCU. Uh, to quote the crew of Sunday NFL Countdown, Come on, man! Look, I know college can be stressful. I have no idea how student-athletes do it. I mean, if I had to deal with athletics, studies, and extracurriculars, I would lose my mind, especially, I mean, if I had to deal with all my journalism studies and play D1 or JUCO or D2, I would be so stressed I wouldn't know what to do. We're all in college, and yes, illegal drugs and alcohol are accessible somehow, some way to minors and anyone that's looking for it. Um, we all know that, but basically the moral of the story is just don't be stupid. Think about your image, your family's image, and the image of your university you're attending. I know my mama would slap the living bejesus out of me if I got caught with a DUI, DWI, or was asked to leave my school related to a drug incident. Or even if I was even playing a team, my parents would be mortified and just essentially maybe even disown me. Who knows? It's just the right thing to do. There are other ways of relieving stress without breaking the law, and they don't even require you to break the law. Do yoga or something. I don't know. I heard yoga's great. Uh, granted, Patchell was 21 years of age, and he was of legal age to drink alcohol. But in that case, be smart. Call a cab. It's going to cost you, what, 30... Granted, it could cost 35 to $45 in some cities for you to get a cab from point A to point B. But... Think about the safety of others at that point. We've all known people who have been injured or killed in drunk driving, and we don't want that on our records or even on our conscience. I know people who have been charged with DUIs, and it's been it's ruined their lives. Can't even get jobs in some places, and they can't even start their car without a breathalyzer. And think about that as an athlete. You really want that on your record or hurting that, having that on your um, resume for trying to go into the draft, saying that he's unruly? Come on now. I'm not condoning any illegal activities by any means. I'm a minor. Do not, I do not condone underage drinking. I do not condone smoking marijuana or any other illegal activities. But when the time comes, be smart. Once again, be smart. Think about your actions. Have, have some fortitude, you know. See the consequences of your actions. Well, anyway... That's all from me. Continue to follow and read The Crystal Ball for all your great college football information and intriguing posts. Um, the rest of the blog will cover on how uh, schools such as Oregon and LSU um, handle drug abuse and what they plan to do in the future. And that's all from me. I'm Ryan Hill, signing off until next time.